On Grammy Sunday, one performer will have the chance to accept two awards. I'm Sarah Pila in Hollywood at the Mr. Music Head Gallery, where I speak with two-time Grammy-nominated jazz vocalist Sarah Gazarik on what it means to be nominated for the first time ever. Getting the chance to hear Sarah Gazarik sing in person her rendition of Dolly Parton's classic tune, Jolene, will bring you chills. Jolene, Jolene. For the first time in her career, she's been nominated for not one, but two Grammys, including one for Jolene in the category of Best Arrangement, Instruments, and Vocals. Any artist would agree that a Grammy nomination is sort of like the greatest honor. Her other nomination is for her album Thirsty Ghost in the Best Jazz Vocal Album category. But what makes this honor a little sweeter is that her album was self-produced and self-released, and although she shopped it around, record labels passed on her. If you have faith in your art, not to be deterred. And that faith is what got her here. Prior to this album, the songs she was singing weren't reflective of her own life. Her marriage was crumbling, and her mom was in a catastrophic car accident. My life was falling apart, and I was still on stage promoting this concept of authenticity, but not singing about anything that was authentic. But she found the courage to explore those wounds through music, and every song on Thirsty Ghost speaks to something specific, like Jolene. There was a Jolene in my life and I'm not the only one. Despite her authenticity, she questioned if her audience was ready for this music, but ultimately, she trusted she was on the right path. Of course it's terrifying because you're singing or creating art that's about something that is as real and as authentic as the human experience. And that risk turned into a big reward with her first time Grammy nominations. It would be thrilling to jump up on stage and thank the people who contributed to this album um, and to have a record that was self-produced and self-released. As an underdog, she hopes she can inspire other artists to put things out there in a way they felt they couldn't before. And in the meantime, she'll enjoy the Grammy nomination spotlight that she's earned.